Hey, hey. How do I look? 90s, right? I rolled in this morning and saw a uh, 1996 CR250 two stroke, which I was blown away. I haven't seen the bike in person yet, and it's Jeremy McGrath bike. I'm a little nervous because uh, I haven't ridden a two stroke first up in quite some time. There's a surprise I was talking about. Like, I think it's actually it. pretty awesome. I'm excited to be part of this yeah, whole thing, so. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy, but I think it's gonna be epic. It really is. We got a beautiful piece of machinery that is, believe it or not, older than me. And the best part is I get to ride it today. The Fender. This is actually McGrath's bike. It's a personal bike that we got to borrow from him. And uh, I, uh, it was one of his old practice bikes, so I cleaned it up a little bit and found some parts. And now it's pretty much exactly what he was racing back in the day. Obviously the motor industry and, and styles and everything have changed quite a bit, but we want to try and bring a little bit of old school punk rock back into it. Hey, I pulled them way down and they're still up on my belly button. Du kamst zur Tür herein und brachst mein kleines Herz. Es war Liebe auf den ersten Blick. So first off, the bike was a little bit on the richer side, so it makes a little bit of a delay on a throttle. But other than that, literally, I, I, I rode the bike down the straightaway and, and everything felt comfortable. It took me about, I don't know, 50 minutes to really get used to it. And the second time I went out, I felt like I've ridden the bike for, for quite some time. <laughs> Like in the wood, I can't grip the bike because everything's so slick. Suspension-wise, was kind of interesting because it feels super plush. You know, the rear is, is quite dead, but so soft. I mean, way softer than we, what we ride these days. Power-wise, everything is quite a bit of a delay. So this is really the, the scary part once it comes to jumping and being precise. But the more I ride it, the more I get used to it. I'm kind of scared jumping the finish line out of the turn at first. The finish line jump is quite small and with it being a 252 stroke and especially an older bike the second gear out of the turns a little bit luggish so I gotta I gotta give her quite good just to make a little finish line jump. I don't think I could qualify. As of right now, but it might be close. Who knows? The bikes nowadays are so fast and so good, and you know, even and the level is super high, so I don't really know. I mean, I haven't even jumped the triple yet, so it would definitely take some time to even just do the jumps. Everything's so big these days, I would have to double my way through the whole Supercross track, and I'd probably be like 38 seconds off the leader or something. It's been a challenge. The, you know, it's not like there's a bunch of parts sitting on a shelf that you can rebuild, even even new production parts. You know, so uh, it's been a bit of a challenge, and you know, to help the show, uh, trying to find seals and internal parts to rebuild the suspension, and so it's been a little bit of a project, but it's uh, I think it's well worth it. Alright guys, this is a wrap for Terra Firma 94. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you next time.